My name is Peter Bruninger. I'm here with Carl Marchichetto, and we're at the Los Angeles Audio Show. And Carl, you're showing with Deja Vu West. Uh, you have a loudspeaker that looks simply stunning. Can you tell me about uh, the loudspeaker and some of the equipment, please? Sure. Uh, the loudspeaker is a uh, upgrade to our Metro Gold. It's a Metro Gold Series 2. We have made a number of uh, fundamental and significant uh, improvements. The idea being that we want to get closer to the live uh, sound, the live performance, and to capture more of the explosive and immediacy of a live source, while maintaining all the virtues that we've had as far as sound staging and smoothness and low distortion, et cetera. Mm -hmm. But the big news is that the way the speakers are able to generate massive uh, subjective uh, dynamic range levels, mm -hmm. so-called jump factor, uh, has become a bit of a, uh, an issue at the show because it exceeds uh, our expectations. We're only using a 40 watt uh, uh, Italian synthesis amplifier, which is very good, but it's still 40 watts and it gets much louder in dynamics than we expect and our neighbors are not too happy about that. But it, from outside, it sounds like a much bigger loudspeaker, mm -hmm. so it has a much bigger size in its presentation and a much more dynamic uh, three-dimensional image than the previous model. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, all of the components uh, pretty much have been affected by this change, including the bass drivers, uh, the ribbon tweeter, cro new crossovers, wiring, pretty much everything except the mid-range driver in the cabinet has been upgraded to a new level, mm -hmm. and so this is the Series 2. And we like to play something for you very simple, which I think you will get the message, and it would translate to you uh, putting this on your site, where people, I think, have a maximum chance of understanding uh, what we're about. So we're not going to play something bombastic, we're going to play something simple, but I think it brings you the message of what a live source and how close we have come to that. Okay. Good. Thank you very much, Carl Marchetto from NOLA. Thank you. <laughs>
system this year. Uh, Vincent Belleger, the cellist, was in the room with us. Now that's a very moving piece. Uh, this is a world premiere recording of that piece and it will grow on you as you play it uh, time over time and it is uh, just uh, sounded as if the cello was there. I could hear the rosin on the bow. I could hear the cellist breathing. And I think that's an attribute to Carl. Your speakers are just, uh, they produce such fantastic detail and believability and frequency response. It was just a wonderful presentation. So I want to thank you guys very much. Would you like Josh to thank talk you. a little bit about the equipment? Yeah, Josh, real quick, uh, give us a rundown on the gear, please. Sure, sure. The gear is by Aldo Di Erso, who is an Italian gentleman who hand manufactures uh, DACs and preamplifiers and amplifiers using vintage Western electric transformers. Uh, electrolytics, the wiring, the chassis work, everything down to the toggle switches and the full meters. Gosh, it's all wow. new old stock Western electric. So um, there's nothing else like this, certainly in this country, very few things like it in the entire world. And um, we basically had to go back to the 1930s to find the best sounding electronics that uh, we've ever heard. And they, uh, they form a very synergistic uh, combination with Carl's magnificent loudspeakers. So they sure do. We're very happy to be uh, showing showing our electronics with his speakers. My hat is off and we have a choice here of an Italian amplifier, Italian low-level electronics, and Italian descent loudspeakers. And somehow they get along with Scandinavian wires, which we don't know. <laughs> so, so the benefit is to all the listeners. Well, thank you very much. It was a great presentation and uh, again, the cellist was in the room with us and uh, the new meets the old. Thank you. Thank you.